All right, so in this video, we're going to do something fun. I'm here with Ram, programmer at UNF Games. Hi, Ram. Hello. So we are, uh, we are getting into the final stages of this character. Still not complete, so it's just a work in progress. We want to show how to use the materials to create a character from Genshin Impact basically using the the same colors so I think it will be interesting so let's see what you can do with the material and you can see I have some variations here and I will show you how you can create your own variation using the material instance so first of all you can see that we have the here the characters and they have the anime cell shading so if I rotate the light actually you got the cell shading there um, it's a really really cool tutorial out of there in YouTube on how to do it I will link in the description but it's great it's really really great and I think this is this is coming out really nicely so let's start let's see what character we can create uh, so I have these options uh, I was thinking maybe we can go for this one because we don't have this look like kind of like orange and like dark purple or something like that so let's let's try to to make something something like this it's and also your your personal preference right it's also my personal preference and also I think I have similar colors here uh, here and this one and I cannot see much from this so I'll just go for this one and <laughs> we, 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 don't, we okay. cannot change the eyes but I think we can put that in a future update if people are interested we can put different different eye colors which I think is a big plus in in anime characters so yeah let's 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 do it let's put some lining so it doesn't look that creepy yeah, maybe something like that. All right, so I'm just gonna duplicate this one, and we will go back and forth on how to change the colors. But let's go back here and let's go to our materials and let's just duplicate one of this, and we will call it. What kind of what kind of character is this? Like dark wizard? I we already have the dark wizard, darker wizard. This is the darker wizard, or oh. or maybe th thunder wizard. Okay, I don't know why. I just had the feeling. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just just plug the material here, and nothing will change because we haven't changed the parameters. And let's take a look at what things you have. Here you can change the accessories like the color variation, the cloth color variation, the hair, the saturation or desaturation. Like I can control like two, something like this. I can make it very saturated. I can change the hair. I can change the shadows actually, um, which actually work pretty well. You can actually change the color of the of the light. So if I want a bluish light, I can also get the atmospheric light from the from this one. Just keep in note that the direction of light needs to be here in atmospheric sunlight. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go with the defaults and let's try. I'm just gonna go here. Let let's try to get this color here. Uh, eyeball it. So we have our hair color. Definitely not this one. Is it this one? Kind of. Could be. Start yeah. with that. Uh, let's go for the closest, the main part, which is basically maybe purple, maybe not. Let's see. So if we go here, let's go for a cinematic view. It's always better in cinematic everything. All right. 
So let's go for the chest color. I think we can go for a bluish and then desaturate it. Darker. Is it this one? Oh, you do know you're one. asking a programmer for colors, right? That's yeah. No. Never That's not ask a good a idea. Never for colors. Debatable. <laughs> I mean, technical artists, they they got this. I yeah. I, I kind of don't, but that, that seems close enough. To All right. Me. Let's a gameplay programmer. Don't ask about color for gameplay programmers. All right. So let's see. So the primary color is this one. Maybe we can go to some art fundamentals here. So basically you have a main color, which the basic rule is more or less like all this part is like, let's just say 70% of the 70 of the color. And then you will want to create a co secondary color, which is maybe, 10 to 25 percent which is will be this color here you can see that the hair and the accessories have the same color and it has a different different hue and value so it's a little bit lighter so basically you need a contrast within those and then you have like five or ten percent of the that you said the main contrast color which is this orange one here and we will see when we, where we can put it but that's basically the formula for any character design 70 percent 30 percent rule that's very logical I'm, I'm sure ram can get it if i explain color yeah i'm like surprised this. actually yeah, i'm right? surprised there was a formula yeah it, it it is i mean it is actually it's actually very good so let's try to mimic this and the good thing about this is that you don't need to work with many colors. So let's just save this color here. Let's just say this is our color and we want to use it in future colors. So we have the hat color. No worries. Pick the same one. We have the small cloth. Let's see what happens when we click this. We'll click the same one and it looks a little bit dark so we can increase the the brightness here just like that and let's just check it may look a little bit more chromatic but let's see in the end how it looks like we can also try to make it super saturated Or something like that but it won't work so let's go back here put it something like this now let's change the socks obviously i mean you can feel that there's something wrong with it if we put more of the same color so we need to try something else and this is where we just follow our intuition and let's just check what kind of color fits this one. Is it the white one? Or is it the super orange one? White one. White one? Ram, what's gold for that white one? That, so, that's my artist intuition. All right. So we have a logical way to explain this. And when you go to contrary colors here, mostly we're around this area. So you want to go this way to a very extreme one. And let's just say you want to have some colors here and here to make a transition in some parts. So this one maybe get 70%. This one maybe get 20 and this one maybe they get 10. Um, but at the end, at least for me, it works when Oh, actually this works for me so for me it works basically you see it and you feel it's right 
just like music you hear something and you feel something's off but you cannot tell why then it's more or less the same so I think this one's working for me all right so let's keep going you know where I'm gonna put the super orange one is in this part I guess so go to the ornament color and put the super orange one let's check if this one a little bit brighter I think this one looks a little bit too dark so ornament brightness okay, check here can play with it a little bit I like this look it looks like Halloween more or less yeah I take it and um, because we don't have the, the eyes maybe, maybe we can change the, the crystals so let's check the back cloud first the back cloud color maybe can be something dark maybe something white what do you think Ram? dark or white go for mm. your intuition dark dark okay so we say we would kind of have the same color here you don't necessarily need to have the same but as you say something like this all right yeah that's better okay so let's say what else we have we have the bunny ears can go for this one it looks balanced or you can go for this one with more contrast right yeah could be more contrast or just what do you feel I feel can be this one but my feeling can be different from yours and there's no right or wrong So let's save it, okay? Then let's compare later. All right, one or two. I go for two. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, Benny years brightness, super bright, darker. Let's just find this one. Uh, let's notice that when I put a super saturated thing, it becomes too much. See how this is unbalanced? This is just too much. So you need to move Ooh. a little bit to the other stream. Right. Okay. Um right, let's let's check the potion. You want the mana potion, the elixir, the HP potion. The this is the buff option maybe that wanna give you strength. <laughs> I can tell you I will go I can go for this one. And I don't know, just feel right. But of yeah, course you can go yeah. for the HP potion if 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 you need help. <laughs> but just talking about the colors, maybe I can use this one. Alright, so let's check the staff. So the staff let's have the weapon crystal color. I think it's pretty accurate. And let's change the main color. Maybe like this. Maybe less saturated. Does it work? Uh, 
You can also go with the uh, with this color, which is more or less what we had before, and maybe a, the value is a little bit different. So, what else? What else you have? I think we cover almost all parameters. Yeah, the letter. Well, you can change the letter too. Yeah. Oh, or the stick also, right? Of the stick or this one. So, let's start with the. letter on the if I can find it isn't that one weapon leather color could be or perhaps oh yeah so we are using the same letter for for all of them because letter usually have one color I think we can add that add that in the in the future of course before releasing if you want to change the letter the weapon stick you can put something like this maybe so I don't know if it works what do you think compared to the other characters do you think there's something unique into it okay I'll stick with this one good so yeah this is how uh, this is how you change color. We can we can do a basic overview of how it works in another video. So yeah, uh, that's it for me, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share for someone you think it may be helpful to that person to watch this video a friend or anyone that helps a lot and if you want to see something specific just let us know in the comments and i see you in the next one